I have almost 30 years of experience tutoring physics. So I have this poster with the 5 kilo what? The best supplementary material will be the 10 year series. I decided to write an answer booklet for SAP's 10 year series for H2 physics. I have almost 30 years of experience tutoring this subject physics. I graduated in 1991 with a first class honors degree in electrical engineering from NUS. Before that, I was a student at Raffles Institution. Half my students are actually learning ahead of their school syllabus. I have secondary school students in my A-level physics tuition class and even some primary school students in my O-level physics tuition class. They have several DSA offers from the top schools. I attribute this solely to my students' ability rather than my own teaching ability. Physics is the most fundamental science with applications in almost every real-life situation. For example, the mobile phone, we have Faraday's law for the wireless charger, Snell's law for the screen's liquid crystal display, Maxwell's equations for the transmission and reception signals, Ohm's law for the integrated circuits, and Newton's law for the screen protector and phone cover. Students have the biggest problem with questions that contain what I call one of these five killer words. Explain, discuss, describe, suggest, and comment. Because these questions require students to think, which is the most difficult thing to do. For example, in 2022, the A-level physics exam, there was a 21 mark question on electric cars. I read on internet discussion forums that many students in Singapore could not answer this question well. Some of the students were so angry that they cursed the United States' most famous electric car company. The problem most students face with these questions is that they don't understand the questions. Then later, when the solutions were revealed to them, they would say, I could have answered the question if I had understood it. So I have this poster with the five killer words, explain, discuss, describe, suggest, and comment. Every time I discuss questions that have one of these five words, I will bring this poster out to scare the students. My tuition centre is unique in that half my students are actually learning ahead of their school syllabus. So they are several years younger than the level of the tuition. For example, I have secondary school students in my A-level physics tuition class. I call them the small, smart students. So every time I have these questions, I will get these students to answer the questions and they do it very well. For example, last month, during my A-level physics tuition, I have this lesson on waves and superposition. I got these RI set 3 students to answer the question perfectly. Nice. Then I made a copy of this and gave to all my students. Now, this method works for some students but not all. Some students could not accept the fact that students who are several years younger than them could answer questions that they could not. So they felt defeated and they quit the class after one lesson. However, for students who could accept these small smart students in their midst, they were inspired to be like them. It is extremely important for students to score high grades in the national examinations. Our government can pressurise the local universities to de-emphasise grades. However, overseas universities are beyond our government's control. Top overseas universities continue to admit students with the very good grades. Therefore, it's important for students to score good grades in order to have a good chance to enter overseas universities. The best supplementary material will be the 10-year series. 
from which students can get a good idea of the type of questions that will be coming out in the national examinations. I have the honour to be the author of the book solutions for SAP's A-Level 10-year series for physics, so I can confidently recommend it. Over the years, I noticed that for the qualitative questions, the answers provided by different schools emphasize different key points. Of course, all are correct. Therefore, I decided to write an answer booklet for SAP's 10-year series for H2 Physics that combined the essence of all the key points from the different schools. As a result, my answer tend to be longer than that of every single school because it combines all their good points. But this gives students the big picture and a more complete understanding of the topics. In addition, I also add in diagrams to help students visualize the questions and be able to comprehend them better. Practice the 10 year series, practice and more practice. Practice makes perfect. In addition, students can also practice their school's past exam paper or the past exam paper of other schools. I had a student who practiced every question in the 10 year series two times. Oh my God. So she told me that the questions actually look alike from one year to another, except with minor changes like both changing to a cup. So in the national exam, she could actually start writing the answer before she had finished reading the question. So the 10 year series is very good for students to understand what type of questions are coming up in the national examination so that they can stay prepared and stay grounded when the actual exam comes.